Hello everyone, a warm welcome to all of you. Well, in this video today, I bring to you the ECAS 2016 question paper and we'll take a look at the regular questions that are asked in this paper. Let's try to solve this together. And after this video, I recommend that you go through the second part of this as well which have the achiever section kind of questions which is the last 10 questions of this same ECAS 2016 maths paper for the third graders. So what are we waiting for? Let's get started. So here we have some hand-picked questions for the 2016 ICAS for mathematics for grade 3. We are looking at the paper B. The first question here that we picked was that Alice was practicing addition and she had this figures 4 plus 17 is 21, 14 plus 17 is 31 and 24 plus 17 is 41. Now she needs to find out what is 44 plus 17. So what must be the value of this question mark here? Can you find the answer? Well, for a quick approach, this is a pattern. So 4 plus 17 is 21. 14 plus 17 is 31, 24 plus 17 is 41. That means as the tens is increasing on the left hand side, the tens is also increasing on the right hand side. So if we continue with this pattern, 34 plus 17 would be 51 and 44 plus 17 would be 61. Hence, our right answer would be option B, 61. Next question reads, Tom has 12 plastic shapes. He closes his eyes and picks up a shape. This is the place where he picks up the plastic shapes from. Which shape has twice the chance of being picked up as the square? Now first we need to find out how many squares are available in the given group. So the number of squares in this image are 2. Now we need to find which shape has twice the chance of picked up by the square. That means which appears twice the times as the square. So 2 times 2 is 4 and it is actually the hexagon which appears 4 times. Hence our right answer is option A. Next question. These thermometers show the temperatures in two cities one morning. How much warmer was it in Hong Kong than in Sydney? Well, warmer means a higher temperature and cooler means a lower temperature. Now in Sydney, the temperature was 11 degrees Celsius and in Hong Kong, it was 27 degrees Celsius. So we need to find the difference between 27 and 11, which is equal to 16, which is the temperature by which Hong Kong was warmer than Sydney. Hence, our answer is option C. Next question. There were 60 people all together at the school concert. For every two children, there was one adult. How many children were there at the school concert? So, let's understand what they are saying. So, they are saying that for every two children, there will be an adult. That means there has to be groups of 3 in these 60 people. So, out of the 60 people, we need to divide it in groups of 3, which will give us 20. Now, in these 20 groups, there will be 1 adult and 2 children. Hence, the total number of children will be the number of groups into 2 because each group has 2 children. Hence, the answer will be 40. So, our correct answer is option D, 40. Next question. This is a map of a car park. Raj drove his car into the entry of the car park. He turned left and then right. Now, what is said is as he enters, he turns left. And then he turns right and then third left, which is nothing but A. So our right answer is option A. Next question is on data handling. Let's read this. Sally organized 45 of her toys into three groups. Here there is a bar diagram. Which of these should replace the question mark on the graph? Now, based on the bar diagram, you can see that Sally has 15 dolls and 20 games. 
Now in all she has 45 of her toys which is some of dolls, cars and games. But dolls and games together sum up to 35. So the number of cars that Sally will have would be equal to 45 minus 35 which is equal to 10. So as per the given bar diagram we can estimate that B would be the bar that will come in place of cars indicating the number 10. Hence that is our right answer. Next question for you reads Jane asked her friends how much pocket money do you get each week? After they all had answered Chris said I get less than Abby but dollar three more than Deep. Billy said I get one dollar less than Chris. Who gets the most pocket money? So this is on arithmetic. So if you want to solve this pause the video and try out. Let's solve it together and see if you were able to get the right answer. So for such questions you should write out each statement arithmetically. First says that Chris gets less than Abby. And the next statement that Chris makes is that Chris gets 3 more, more is plus than Deb, which is D. The next information that we get is Billy's. Billy says he gets $1 less than Chris. So that would be C minus 1. Now from this, what we can know is that Chris gets more than Deb as well as Billy. And we already know the first statement that Chris gets less than Andy. So the one who gets most pocket money is Andy. That is option A. Next question for you is, John has a rowboat. He puts in number 5. Here it goes. The robo applied a rule then gave out the answer to be number 11. What could the robot's rule be? Now here are some equations. Let's try to solve this and then we'll be able to find the answer. The first one says subtract 1 from the number then half it. So here we have the number. We subtract 1 from it. This will give us 4 and then we need to half it. Half it is we need to divide this by 2. So 4 divided by 2 will give us 2 which is not our answer. So not A. Let's look at B. B says double the number and then add it. The number is 5. Doubling it means multiplying it by 2 which gives us 10. The next operation is to add 1 to it which gives us 11. So this is giving us the right answer. So B is the right answer. So we don't need to look any further. But this is how we solve this question. Next question. Jack follows this pattern to form a shape. So this question is on your patterns. So this is the pattern that is followed. Which of this is the final shape? Well, if you notice, this is being rotated in the clockwise direction. So here the green ball is on first quadrant, then on the second, then on the third. And here it will go to the fourth quadrant. So we should keep the images which are on the fourth quadrant that is A and C and strike out B and D. Now if this goes to fourth quadrant, so our star which is on first quadrant moves to second quadrant here and in the final image it will move to the third quadrant. So here we have star in the third quadrant in option A. So our right answer is option A. We can eliminate C. Maddie used a number line to solve this number sentence. 46 times 3 is equal to what? Which one of these shows how to find the correct answer? Well, for this, the easy approach is to just multiply 46 times 3, find the answer and then check which of the options give the right answer. But let me teach you a fundamental method of solving it. Now, 46 times 3, let's put the 46 in brackets, can also be written as 40 plus 6 times 3. So this 40 plus 6 is the replacement for 46. 
Now, 40 plus 6 times 3 means 40 times 3 plus 6 times 3. So, both of these within the bracket will get multiplied, keeping the sign in between them same. Now, if we try to match this up to the images, here we have 40 times 3 and 6 times 1 only. So, this is not the one. Let's look at B. We have 40 times 3 and 12 is 6 times 2. So, again, this is not our right answer. For the other two options, we need to define 46 in terms of 50. Now, in terms of 50, 46 can be written as 50 minus 4. So, 50 minus 4 is also 46. Again, when we open the bracket, each of this will get multiplied by 3, keeping the sign same. That is 50 times 3 and 4 times 3, which is subtracted from each other, keeping the sign as is. Now, 50 times 3, if we look at this image, is present here. And minus 4 times 3, 4 times 3 is 12. Now, this is 6, so not this. This one is 12. So, we have 50 times 3 minus 12. So, our option D is the right answer. So, you can also come to the answer without solving it. Now, let's go to our next question. This is an arithmetic question again for you. It reads, Janie bought three packages of stickers with 30 stickers on each page. Paula bought five of the same pages of stickers. How many stickers did they buy all together? Simple one. Janie has three times 30 stickers because there are 30 stickers on each page and she gets three pages. This is equal to 90. Similarly, Paula has five times 30 stickers because she got five pages of the same. So, this is equal to 150. We need to add them together, which will give us 240. Hence, our answer is option C. Now, let's go to the next question. It says, Indra had 12 white cards. He drew designs on 8 of them. Here I have the enlarged image of these cards. Indra wanted the pattern to repeat after every 4 cards. So, this question is again on patterns. Which design must he draw on the white cards? Now, remember, pause the video if you want to take your chance. Well, let me tell you how I would solve this. Now, the pattern is repeated after every 4 cards. So, let's number these cards with the count of 4. So, it will go the first 4, then the next 4 and the third 4. So, we will look at each pattern and get the missing card. Now, in first, we need to find what would be 4. Well, in the third section, we know that 4 is the triangle. In the next block that we need to fill is 3. Well, the first section tells us that 3 is double heart. Again, 4 we know is a triangle. And in the third section, the missing block is 3 which we know is a double heart as indicated in first section. So, this is the combination that needs to be drawn, which is option C. Next question. Well, this is on measurements. This fabric is being measured by a ruler that is marked in millimeters. Which of these is closest to the length of the fabric? So, here mark the beginning and the ending measure. So, in the beginning, let's consider this 100 to be a 0 mark. So, the first measurement where the fabric starts is 7 millimeter and the ending is at 82 millimeter. So, to find the length of the fabric, we need to subtract 7 by 82, which is equal to 75 millimeter. So, our answer is option B. Next one. Now, this is more on the visual counting. Sara is making a solid cube using colored blocks of the same size. She has completed one corner. How many blocks has Sara used so far? Well, if you want to try, you know what to do. Well, let me show you how I would have solved it. Visually, if you notice, 
There are four stacks of three rows each. Then let's come to the stacks of two rows. Well, here behind there are two stacks of two rows each. And in front there are again two stacks of two rows each. Leaving us with just one more stack which is the yellow one which is just one block. So now we know the total number of blocks which is equal to 3 times 4 which is 12 plus 2 appears 4 times which is 8 plus 1. So 12 plus 8 plus 1 is equal to 21. So our answer is option C. 21 blocks are used. Next question. This picture shows two bins for waste when viewed from the south. What do the bins look like if viewed from the east? Well, here I have the two bins. Well, south is this direction. So, if south is this, on your left hand side would be east and right hand side would be west. So, we need to look at it from the east direction. So, from the east direction, the green bin will be in front of the red bin which is option C. Now let's read the next word problem. It says a caterpillar crawls 1 meter on the first day, 2 meters on the second day and then 3 meters on the third day. The caterpillar keeps crawling in this way until it crawls 10 meters on the 10th day. How many meters in total will the caterpillar crawl in 10 days? So every day it crawls these many meters for each of the 10 days and we need to find the sum of the total distance crawled. So now how we need to add it? Well don't do the arithmetic, use your number bonds. See 1 and 9 make 10, 2 and 8 make 10, 3 and 7 make 10 and 4 and 6 make 10. So here we make it 40 meters. Then there is this 5 which will make it 45 and the remaining 10 which is 55. So your answer is 55 meters which is option B. So this is called quick mental calculation. Let's head to our next question. Ying measured the mass of a jug containing some water. Now this is the jug. And the complete weight of the jug and the water is 1100 grams. 1 liter of water has a mass of 1 kilogram. That means 1 liter is equal to 1 kilogram. So what was the mass of the jug? Well, try to find it yourself. Here is my approach. Now, 1 liter is 1 kilogram. That means 1000 ml is equal to 1000 gram because these are the conversions of liter to milliliter and kilogram to gram. Hence, we can say that 1 ml is equal to 1 gram. Now, let's find this calibrations in terms of milliliter. That means we should divide 1000 into 4 equal parts because there are 4 spokes. Now, 1000 divided by 4 is 250. So, each of this interval marked on the jug will be 250 each. So, that helps us determine that the liquid that is up till here is 250 plus 250 which is 500 ml. Now, we know the weight of the liquid. So, the total weight indicated here of 1100 grams is equal to 500 ml that is the water plus the weight of jug. So, our weight of jug would be equal to 1100 gram which is the total weight shown here minus 500 ml and if you remember this 500 ml can be converted into grams. So, to subtract we need the same unit hence the answer to this is equal to 600 grams which is your option D. The important thing is to read the question, think of how you are going to approach it and only then start to solve. If you have any questions, do leave a comment. Besides, you can also reach us at our social media handles. But yes, for more such videos, do like, share and subscribe to our channel. And do not forget to click on the bell icon. Till we meet again, take care.